Blink 2.0. So yeah, the new and more advanced version of our favorite Blink ID platform is out for all the makers and developers out there. So now what I'll do is in this video, I'll be you know making you familiar with this new platform and I will let you know everything like what are the new features, new uh, pricing structure, new application and all the new things regarding Blink 2.0. So after watching this video, you'll get a complete overview about what is Blink 2.0. So do watch this video till the end because if you skip it, you'll definitely miss it. Now that being said, let's get started with this video. So let's start this video with the six major upgrades provided by this company and what they did is they provided a unique name to each of the features. So let's just start with this. So first is Blink.app. This company has made completely new applications for both Android and iOS and this new application has simple yet elegant looking design. Now if I talk about the widgets then as you can see the icons of the widgets have changed and also the number of widgets have changed. Uh, they have removed a couple of previous widgets and they have added the new widgets as well. Now talking about the switching between devices then earlier what we have to do is we have to stop playing the project, we have to click on this icon and by swiping uh, this particular page we can change the devices but now it's no more that case. Here as you can see all the devices are displayed on one single page and as soon as I click on that device that particular project opens up okay. So that this switching between new new projects is made way more simple in this new application. Also, you can see the new widgets looks really very beautiful onto this white background. So these are the, all the buttons provided by the company. These are all the different different sliders and these all widgets are totally customizable like we can change the color of all the widgets. And as you can see, there are new set of uh, gauge widgets also available. Now, I really appreciate this as this company completely redesigned the uh, widgets to match this new UI and it looks really very refreshing. So, big thumbs up from my side. So, those were some of the major changes inside the Blink application. Of course, there are a lot more small, small new things inside it. But I want to keep this video about the overview of this Blink 2.0. So, I won't be going to much detail about it. Rather, in the future, I'll be making much detailed videos for each of the topic. Okay. Let's go with the second feature, which is about Blink.360. Now, this is something which is introduced for the very first time by the Blink IT platform. Now, what it is, it is a web dashboard. So, till now, we were only having the mobile dashboard, like we were able to add devices, we are able to add widgets, control the things, everything using the mobile phone. But now, along with the mobile phone, we'll be having a web dashboard as well. So, using web dashboard, we'll be able to control the appliance, we'll be able to analyze the data of it, we can download the data as well and we can also add and remove the members. So yeah, Blink this time made an organization structure. Now what does that mean? See, oh, when you install the Blink project, maybe uh, let's take example in a factory, okay? So in a factory, there are a lot of machines and a lot of people working on different, different machines. So what you can do is uh, there can be one admin which can add uh, different, different members to the organization and assign a specific role to them. Maybe some of them are engineers, maybe some of them are the admin people uh, just to monitor the data and stuff like that. And we can provide different different permissions to each of the members like this member can only view the devices this member can control the devices and this member can add the devices as well so we can provide different different uh, permissions to all the members inside an organization so new organization structure is provided by this blink uh, uh, dot 360 which is the blink web dashboard application so that's a really professional thing we can say so yeah, this is a completely new way to interact with their appliances, to interact with the data and to interact with the users as well. So that's the new upgrade. After that comes is Blink.Agent. Now Blink.Agent is a library, like a new library for the new Blink platform. So we require a new library to make our ESP boards to talk to the Blink cloud server, okay? So that's the Blink.Agent. After that comes is Blink.Cloud, okay? So Blink.Cloud is something which we won't be able to uh, visualize it directly. Rather, this all thing is happening in the background. So Blink has a new cloud for the new version of the Blink, okay? So the new cloud is more faster, more advanced and more powerful, okay? So that's the new upgrade. After that, we have Blink.Inject. Now, this is really very interesting feature and I was expecting this feature uh, to be included inside the Blink application only. So what Blink inject means is now you no longer need to hard core Wi-Fi credentials inside the ESP boards. Now you can enter the Wi-Fi credentials using your Blink application. Yes, you can up upload the credentials over local internet network. Now let me show you the process. 
you just need to upload the code onto ESP board and inside the Blink application, you'll have an option to add a new device. You just need to click on that. You need to click on the ready button. After that, our phone will get connected to the hotspot created by the ESP board. Straight after that, we can provide the Wi-Fi credentials to this ESP board. And as you can see, the credentials are provided. So this is one of my favorite new feature of the Blink platform and I hope it will become your favorite feature as well. Now the last major update comes is Blink.air. Now this was something completely unexpected. Let me tell you what is this feature about. Using this feature, you'll be able to upload code over the air. Now when I say over the air, it doesn't mean over local Wi-Fi network only. It means that I can update the code onto my ESP board which is installed somewhere in New York by sitting here in India. Yes, it's possible now to upload the code over internet using the new Blink.Air function and the new Blink.360 web dashboard. How cool this feature is! Like, Thank you so much guys for providing this feature. This is super duper useful for all the professional out there in the world. So that's the major upgrade uh, from the Blink side. So yeah, these were the six major upgrades of the Blink 2.0 and the good news is that you will be able to use all the six features in the free version as well. Now comes the point is what is its pricing structure? So let me tell you in detail. So there are three kinds of pricing structure. One is the free, plus and pro. <clears throat> So here on the screen, as you can see, in the free plan, you will be getting to use all the six features. And of course, this is available for plus and pro as well. So now comes the question is like, what's the difference in plus and pro? <laughs> Let me tell you. So when you go below, as you can see in the free plan, we'll be able to use only one single device. So that's a major ouch, you can say for the free users, you will be only able to add one single device. And of course you can upgrade, like you can add multiple devices, but you need to pay for that. And the payment structure is you have to pay $5 per device, but it's a one-time payment only. You don't need to, uh, you know, it's not a recurring payment. It's just a one-time payment and you will be able to add new device. So earlier they were charging based on widgets, but now they are charging based on devices, okay? In the plus plan, you'll be able to use 10 free devices. And in the pro plan, you will be able to use 40 free devices. And to add new device, the pricing structure is same. That is $4.99 per device, okay? Now comes the user management part. Now, this is something related to the organization structure, which I already discussed in the video, okay? So in the free and the plus plan, we can have only one single admin and we can add only five and 20 users respectively. While in the pro plan, we can add number of admins and we can add number of more users as well. So it's completely uh, revealed that the pro plan is for all the business people, like all the big industries, big companies out there, okay? So that's the comparison. After that, here comes the other features, which says, in the free version, we'll be able to use only basic widgets. We won't be able to use the pro widgets. Which, uh, the pro widgets are only available for the plus and pro users. Now, one thing is confusing. I went through the uh, UI, like the mobile application and web dashboard, but I was not able to decide like which are the pro widgets and which are the basic widgets. So Blink team, do let me know in some of the documentation, maybe like what are the pro widgets and what are the basic widgets so that people can come to know about it, okay? So uh, yeah, that's the one thing which is missing inside the free plan. Talking about the data storage, then the free plan will give you only one week, then the three months and 12 months in the upgraded part. And you won't be able to download the CSV format data into the free platform. Uh, that is a little bit disappointing. After that, Blink is also providing the built-in Alexa and Google Home integration, but again, it is available for the Plus and Pro users. Uh, this feature is not available for the free users out there. So yeah, that was all about the major upgrades and the pricing structure of the new and advanced Blink platform. Of course, there are small, small more changes, but uh, that I'll be discussing in some of the upcoming videos when I'll be making actual projects out of it, okay? So do subscribe to the channel if you haven't to see how to make projects using this new Blink platform. I'll definitely cover those videos. And also let me know in the comments which of the features you love the most inside the new and advanced Blink platform. Do let me know your suggestion in the comments. Also, if you have any doubt, any question regarding this new Blink uh, platform, that also you can let me know in the comments. Maybe I and the Blink team can answer those comments. So yeah, that was all about this uh, Blink 2.0 update video. I hope you like it. I hope you got to know something new from it and I hope it's added some values to your life. That being said, I'm just ending this video here and now. Just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.